Let's give him. Hi everyone, uh, we're here with Randy's Recommended, or Randy's Live today. We're talking about Randy's Recommended. We're gonna wait just a few minutes um, for our camera person. Every once in a while we get busy. Okay. And uh, okay. Josh is coming. I'm gonna hand off the camera. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Uh, what I wanna talk about this morning is uh, these little tags. If you come in my store, uh, you're going to find that these tags are uh, hanging on merchandise around the store. Uh, they're not just put there randomly. Uh, they do say Randy recommends, and that means that I have either personally used the product or I've seen it demoed, and I have confidence in it, and that's why I recommend it. Yep, we took a nice picture of Randy's face. <laughs> He's always been our, uh, our, our, what are you, our, our logo? Yes. <laughs> our mascot. We just took him and put him on there. Just so you know, that's something that he recommends. And the one thing that, that I highly recommend is a shark bite cap. And I recommend you buy two three quarter inch and two half inch. And you're saying, why should I buy a shark bite cap? Well, if you had a plumbing issue on the weekends or on a holiday, it's gonna be very expensive to get a plumber to come out. If you've got two of these caps and you know where the water shut off is to your house, you can go isolate the problem, cut the pipe, whether it's copper, whether it's PEX, whether it's CPVC, and for a temporary uh, fix, it'll even work on the old gray Quest pipe. Uh, you can cut that pipe, put a cap on it, isolate your water problem, and save you a big plumber's bill for that weekend. So call, that, call them in on a weekday. That cap will stop the water from going out. Yes, it will. Yeah. And how are we gonna cut the pipe? Well, you should use a, a tubing cutter. Uh, in, in a pinch, you could use a hacksaw, but you have to make sure you really smooth the edges. But then you're going to call a plumber on Monday anyway. That's exactly right. Yep. Do what you got to do. <laughs> but, but these are handy to have in the house. Put them in the junk drawer, and you'll have them when you need them. Good. What do you have next? What's well, on that same line, um, if you're on a municipal water system, and you start having issues with your water heater, the pop-off valve starts to leak, uh, you notice you got excessive pressure uh, coming out the sink, uh, you know, buy one of these test gauges. They're right around $10. Uh, you can determine what your water pressure is in the house, and that'll tell you whether you need to buy a pressure-reducing valve. It'll save you a lot of headaches down the road. So that just tells you how, how hard the water's coming into your house? How? Exactly. How quickly, I guess. And as these, as our towns grow, uh, the water department has to increase pressure in order to get the water to the new, uh, the new subdivisions and new houses. Uh, it's just a thing that has to be done. And to protect your household plumbing, uh, know what your pressure is, and then you can put in a pressure reducing valve and adjust it to the, to the pressure that's designed for home appliances and that sort of thing. Yeah. It's detrimental to water softeners. It'll it'll cause a lot of problems in a water softener with too much pressure. And that's a really inexpensive way to figure out what's going on with your house. Exactly. Yeah. This is also a good thing. This is uh, pretty awesome stuff. Uh, it used to be called rescue tape. Now it's just called repair tape. But it uh, it bonds to itself. That means if you wrap it around, if you wrapped it around your little finger, uh, you would start feeling it to compress and start drawing down. So you can stop a water leak with this on a garden hose. You can stop a water leak with this on a radiator hose on an automobile because it will withstand temperature. I've actually seen this used on hydraulic hoses. Uh, not, a, not a permanent fix, but it might get you out of the field to where you can get it to the shop to get, get that project completed uh, permanently. Um, I really recommend this. I do carry it in my toolbox, and um, I wouldn't want to be without it, and I have used it. But don't put it on your finger. No, it's a little uncomfortable on your finger, but it makes a real good demonstration. Yeah, I've used that on a water hose before. I accidentally ran over the garden hose with the lawnmower. Made some holes in it, but that fixed it right up. I got some gray, matched the water hose, and couldn't tell the difference. What's the last thing? We've, well, it's well, not the last thing. Well, not the last thing, but this is a product that I, I really recommend. This is a non-toxic rodent control product. I'm not going to call it mouse poison, rat poison, because it's not poison. It's non-toxic. I don't have the time to go into all the details as to how this works, uh, but all of us here in the store can explain how it works. It's safe around children, it's safe around pets, it's safe around domestic animals. Uh, it's 
pretty amazing product, and we've got a lot of good things to say about this. So stop in the store, ask any of the sales associates to explain to you how Rat X works, and we'll be happy to do that. Uh, we've got some pictures. We can show you some of the results. Um, it's not pretty. I mean, it kills those rats. It does. It takes care of them. Now, everybody knows what's coming up this weekend, this Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. The one thing you don't want to be without is a plumber's helper. That halftime flush can be brutal. So make sure that that bathroom, bathroom is working properly. You may have guests over. Uh, you don't want to miss the halftime show, so make sure everything works. We've got good stock on hand. Take a look at yours and make sure it's in good working order. You also wanted to talk about this uh, asphalt repair? I do. I, yeah, I kind of took my thunder away when I went to the plunger. Yeah, right you away. went with the plunger right away. <laughs> Excuse me Don't for worry. my back on you. That one was a clean plunger. <laughs> this product is something brand new for us. It's road rescue. It's an asphalt patch, an asphalt repair. Uh, what we like about it, the bag is nice and clean. No black. Uh, it's easy to use. It won't harden until you compact it, and you can use it just about any time of the year. You don't have to wait till August when it's 90 degrees outside. Um, brand new product, new to us. We got plenty in stock. Uh, come in, take a look at it. Ask us about it. Uh, we'll be glad to help you. Yeah, and just again, we wanted to let you know about these Randy's recommended tags. We've got our little mascot, Randy, he Randy's head up here. Um, every time you see that in the store, you can. You can feel confident that Randy has tested it, has learned all he can about it, um, and you can ask any one of us what we think about it, and we'll give you our opinions as well because it's Randy tested and Randy recommended. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in a few weeks.